Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be uh, featuring the methods that I use to restore uh, brake rotors on any motorcycle really, but these happen to be off the uh, CBX, my uh, Left for Dead CBX, as you recall, one of the bikes that I'm working on right now, the full restoration. And uh, just to remind you, here's some pictures. And uh, here's a picture of the front wheel and brake rotor. And this is the final result. So now my front wheel is an NOS wheel, but that brake rotor is the one that, that I took off the bike uh, that was all badly weathered and rusty and so on. And here's the wheel that it was on the original bike with the original rotors that I'm going to be restoring uh, featured in this video. So as you can see, the bolts were wrong. The wheel was, uh, I believe the wheel is a uh, Lester wheel, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But they took the regular CBX wheel and uh, attached it to there. So uh, written right onto the uh, disc is the uh, minimum specs that these discs can be uh, serviceable and as you can see the discs were in really rough shape very rusty very marked up and weathered so uh, here I am miking the discs to make sure that they're within the service range of four millimeters and I believe that it ended up being just slightly over five millimeters uh, the thickness of the disc. So uh, these are completely serviceable. I'm missing a battery there, but uh, as you can see there, the, uh, the reading is just slightly over five millimeters. So I've got more than enough uh, service there out of those discs. So the first thing that I <clears throat> had to do here was remove them from the wheel. And like I said, they, they use the wrong bolts. They uh, are just fused on there for many, many years. Uh, that, but they, these were probably put on these wheels many years ago. And then the bike was up in the mountains in the weather and the elements for more than 20 years. So uh, these bolts were just extremely hard to get out of there. Plus, I believe they had Loctite on them, so I, I had a really hard time getting the bolts out of there, and I was afraid that they were going to break while I was trying to get them out because they were so tightly in there with the uh, Loctite and so on. But eventually, I got them out, and uh, after probably an hour trying to get these bolts out of there, uh, I finally got them out of there. So... Anyway, here's one of the discs that I got off of there. And the first thing I do is I take wet dry uh, sandpaper, just like I did on the wheel restoration, and I just wet sand all of the uh, imperfections out of there, all the rust, the corrosion, everything, and just, uh, you know, keep sanding away until the disc starts coming back looking like new again. Now, as usual, like most discs, they have grooves in them and so on, but these grooves were really minor, and the edge of the disc that you just saw there has rust on it. But with the sandpaper, you can get all of that off of there, and you might still end up with some of the uh, minor grooves, but in this case, they're very minor, and like I said before, this disc is surely uh, serviceable. So. It takes a while, just like the wheel in the previous video restoration. It takes a while to go through all the sanding process. But again, the more you do it, the better the wheel turns out. So, uh, you know, it takes a while, but time well, well worth sp spent. So, in this case, I'm doing the edge of the disc here. And as you can see, it turns out really, really nice when you just to have a little bit of patience and sand off all that ugliness off of there. The disc is 
pretty much a diamond in the rough there when it's all done. So as the video progresses here, I'll fast forward through there. And finally, after, you know, probably a 20 minutes or so, the disc really turns out beautiful. And again, as the video progresses here, I sanded the black and uh, got it all smoothed out. Left most of the black, the original black on there because it's a good base to start with. So once you get all that done, then you want to tape off the disc, of course, to paint out the, uh, the, the black center of the disc. And I just use wide blue tape, go around the edge as I speed speed up the video here you'll see once the blue tape is on there then I just kind of run my fingernail along the uh, the edge there between the black and the actual disc to create a, a ridge there to run a, a razor blade to cut the excess blue tape off So I'm just gonna let the video run here to show the taping process. Do the same in the back. Put it all the way around, then run your fingernail around the along the groove to create a cutting uh, edge for the razor blade. So again, once all the tape is on there, then you just take a razor blade, run it along that edge. It's very easy. And then you pull the tape off and, like I said, it's very easy to, uh, to do that. Then once that's done, the I use uh, either caliper or engine paint on these because the disc can get pretty hot. Not that it gets to 500 degrees, but I I just think that the engine or uh, and or caliper paint is a little tougher for heat and and the corrosive. Uh, break dust that that might get on there but again uh, as as I've shown in a previous video with my painting I just heat up the paint and in this case I just use a rattle can no no point using a, a air an air gun you know on something this small and plus it's easy to get the caliper and or engine paint to paint this with and yet in any of the brands will will work I'm using Duplicolor here but any brand that you find at your auto parts store works great I have some people ask me the brand and so on so anyway here's the here's the final result with the restored disc and the painted center and the in this case it's an NOS wheel but I'll show you the back wheel that I featured in a previous video here in a second. But as you can see, the disc turned out beautiful. And considering the bike that it came off of, it's a pretty, pretty large feat. So here's the, uh, the back wheel that I featured in the previous video that I was restoring. And that wheel was pretty rough looking. But as you can see, it turned out really nice. So check out that previous video that I did on that, and you'll see here. Here's a little uh, preview of that, of me restoring that back wheel. And again, I used the sandpaper, same as the disc. And and again, this is the end result. So, and I took them and had the had the new tires put on. And uh, they're all balanced. And I put modern tires on there because I'm going to ride this bike. 
So if I was doing a, a show restoration, I would put the original tires back on. Uh, they, you can get the original back tire from Japan, only Japan. And then the front tire is still available as the F11 Dunlop. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video on the on the uh, disc restoration and the wheel uh, the preview of the wheel restorations. So again, as usual, thank you so much for watching and please like, share, subscribe and uh, check out my other videos. I'll, I'll leave those links on the uh, end screen. And again, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.